What's up, everybody? My name is Jared Allison with JDA Florida Homes, and I am a real estate agent with Century 21 Alton Clark here in the state of Florida. And I have another market update for the month of March 2022. You don't want to miss this one, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, everybody, before I jump into the housing market update, I want to clear the air real quick. Yes, I do have a black eye. I got it playing basketball this past weekend. It is all good now. The swelling has gone down, but I don't want that to distract you from the important thing, and that is the housing market update. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you do need to hit pause, go ahead and do that so that way you can review some of the numbers that I'm putting up on your screen. We're going to start off with the entire state of Florida. This is a year-over-year -year comparison for March of 2022 compared to 2021. So new listings, not a whole lot of change there. Uh, up just a little bit, but we're going to see some new things, some new trends that we haven't seen in quite some time on new listings and active inventory as we dive into some of the counties throughout Florida. Active inventory down 24%. Time to contract down 40%, just to nine days across the entire state of Florida is what it takes to get uh, go on the market and then get a contract on that home. Median sales price up 21%. That's to be expected. We are still seeing an uptick uh, in median sales price from 327 to 397 for the entire state of Florida. Month supply of inventory down 16% from 1.2 to just one month supply. More stats down below. Closed sales for the entire state of Florida, 30,793. Of those, 10,326 were cash sales, which equates to about 34%. Now let's take a look at that graph I have on the left-hand side. New listings, active inventory, and a new one that I've added is closed sales so we can see the trends of each one uh, going back to June 2020. And then right now from February to March, we've seen an uptick uh, in closed sales, active inventory, and new listings from February to March. Next up is Volusia County for March 2022. Now take a look at the new listings. We are up 10%. This is not a trend that we've seen in the past where we've had that big of a number uh, in the green. So new listings are up 10%. However, active inventory is still down at 13% from 943 to just 823. Time to contract is down 36% from 14 days to just nine days on the market. Median sales price is still up 20% from 274 to 330,000. Month supply of inventory down again 18%, not quite as bad as what it's been in the past. Uh, from 1.1 to just 0.9 months supply of inventory. More stats down below. Closed sales for Volusia County, 1,077. Of those cash sales were 338, which equates to about 31%. Take a look at that graph on the left-hand side where I show new listings, active inventory, and a new one, closed sales. You can see the trends dating all the way back to June 2020. Now we're moving into Seminole County for March of 2022. New listings, not a whole lot of change there. Active inventory uh, down 18% from 403 to just 328 active homes for sale in the entire county. Time to contract down 38% from eight days. Look at this, down to just five days, that median sale per our median time to contract down to five days, less than a week. Uh, you, you put it on the market on a Monday, you should be under contract by Friday. That is amazing. Median sales price is up 20% from 348 to 417,000. Month supply of inventory, again, it is down 25% from 0.8 months to 0.6 months, almost a half month supply, about 16 days worth of homes that are available on the market right now in Seminole County. More stats down below, 557 closed sales, 150 of those were cash sales, and that equates to about 27%. Take a look at the graph on the left where you can see a pretty significant uptick over the past few months in new listings, active inventory, and closed sales. So new listings and closed sales have the biggest upward trend, whereas active inventory has a little bit of an upper trend, but uh, not quite as much as what the new listings are. 
Moving on to Orange County, March 2022, new listings are down 7%. Been a pretty steady trend that we've seen on the year-over-year comparison. From 1693 to 1583, new listings is what it is this year. Active inventory is down 13% from 1204 to just 1046. Time to contract, again, another uh, significant decrease, 46% compared to what it was this time last year. Looking at 11 days last year and now sits at six days. That's not a lot of time for your house to be on the market. Median sales price is up 21% from 365 to 441,000, breaking that 400,000 threshold. Month supply of inventory is down 22% from 0.9 to just 0.7 months supply. More stats down below, 1,421 closed sales for Orange County. 434 of those were cash, which equates to about 31%. Go ahead and take a look on the graph on the left, and you will see the upward trends of all three categories, new listings, active inventory, and closed sales. Alrighty, my Lake County friends and family, take a look at this one. New listings are up a whopping 16% from 733 to 848 compared to what it was this time last year. That is the biggest upward trend on a year-over-year comparison that we have seen in the past couple of years. Active inventory is also up 5% from 517 to 542 homes actively on the market. Time to contract, again, the same trend that we've been seeing, down 39% from 13 days to just eight days on the market. And median sales price, a huge jump up 31% compared to March 2021. It was $284,000. Now it sits at $371,000. The month supply, no change there. This time last year, we had a 0.8 month supply, and this year it sits at the same. More stats down below. For Lake County, we had 762 closed sales. Of those, 268 were cash sales, which is about 35% cash sales for Lake County. Take a look at that graph on the left where you can see new listings and closed sales have the biggest upward trend and active inventory shows a little bit of an upper trend, but not quite as significant as new listings and closed sales. Up next is Brevard County. So take a look at this one as well. New listings are up a astonishing 14% from 1,094 to 1,243 new listings for March 2022. Active inventory is down 12%. It currently sits at 712 active homes for sale in Brevard County. Time to contract is down 20% from 10 days to just eight days on the market. Median sales price, the same trend we've been seeing across the board, up 24% from $280,000 to $348,000. Moving on to month supply of inventory is down 22% from 0.9 month supply to just 07 month supply of inventory. More stats down below. Close sales, 1,057. 293 cash sales. That equates to about 28% of the total closed sales were cash. Take a look at the chart on the left. Again, you can see that pretty significant uptick in new listings and closed sales, but take a look at active inventory. It is still declining uh, all, all the way back to about August or September. We've seen a pretty steady decline for Brevard County in active listings. All right, we have Osceola County next, and new listings. I think this one takes the cake for the ones that I've covered so far, up 22% on new listings from 772 to 941 new listings for March of 2022. Active inventory is down 10% from 584 to 527. Time to contract, again, down 61% from 18 days on the market to just seven days on the market. That's a week to have your home on the market before you should have a contract. Median sales price is up 29%. That is pretty significant going from $310,000 to $401,000. Month supply of inventory this time last year was one month supply. We now sit at a 0.8 
month supply, making it a 20% decrease year over year. More stats down below. We had 780 closed sales. Of those, 248 were cash sales, and that equates to about 32%. Take a look at the graph on the left. Again, new listings and closed sales have the biggest increase or upward trend, whereas active inventory, we were on a steady decline all the way through February, and then February to March, we do see a little bit of an uptick. And the last county I'm going to cover today is Polk County. So take a look at this. Again, new listings and active inventory are both in the green on a year-over-year -year comparison. New listings up 11%, active inventory up 13%. We currently sit at 1,050 homes actively for sale on the market. Time to contract is down 36% from 11 days to 7 days. Median sales price up 29% from 250,000 to 322,000. Month supply of inventory, as you can see, no change there on a year over year comparison. More stats down below, Polk County had 1,478 closed sales. 461 of those were cash, about 31%. Take a look at that graph on the left where you can see new listing and closed sales have the biggest upward trend, whereas active inventory for Polk County has remained pretty steady over the past few months. Thank you so much for watching this housing market report. And if you did find it informational and you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. And then if you would, hit that subscribe button. It does help me grow my YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss more videos like this one, go ahead and hit that alert bell down below. So that way you get notifications when I post new videos. All right, guys, this is Jared Allison with JDA Florida Homes. We'll see you at the next one.